Hello everyone and welcome back. Root Beer here and I am looking at question 16 on our grade 10 Kaylee competition. The triangle shown, this one over here, is reflected in the x-axis and the resulting triangle is then reflected in the y-axis which of the following uh, rep best represents the final position of the triangle. Okay, so this is something where if you wanted to, you could probably use a piece of paper and maybe a, a very thick marker, like a Sharpie or something, and you could probably play around with this yourself, and that's perfectly fine. Okay, Or we can just you know, draw this as a series of sketches. Some people might be able to jump right to the answer, reflecting the x-axis, then in the y-axis, and that's fine too. But I would suggest, uh, you know, if you're having trouble with spatial reasoning, just go slowly. So first we're reflecting in the x-axis here. So we flip along this line and we get a triangle that's sort of pointing down. And then we're going to flip in the y-axis. Right? It was x and then y, right? Just double check. x then y. Okay. I don't think it actually makes a difference because you'd have that over there and then, yeah, the, won't make a difference in the end uh, whether or not we did X or Y first, but we want to make sure that we follow the instructions in the question because on a future question, it might actually matter which is which and what order we do things. But we just flip again. Okay, just mentally, you know, imagine flipping that over. The distance to the Y axis stays the same, but now you're coming at it from the other side. This point here is furthest from the Y axis, so its reflection should also be the furthest part of the triangle away. Okay, now which of our possible options looks like that? That's the one we need to circle. So none of A, B, or C, although A, the triangle, is in the right spot. It's not oriented the right way. Same with E, it's in the right spot. But D looks most like our picture. So D is the one we want to bubble in. And there we go. Okay, so up next we're going to take a look at question number 17. Hopefully you'll join me for that. If not, I'll see you for more math in another video.